Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 tweaks video, the first one for the iOS 7 jailbreak. So I'm really looking forward to showing you all of the tweaks that I've downloaded thus far and ones that I know that are compatible with iOS 7. Now for those of you that are curious as to which device that I'm running these tweaks on, it is my iPod Touch 5th generation 16 gigabyte model. However, all of the tweaks that I'm showing you should work with the later generations as well that are running the 64-bit uh, processor, which is the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. But if you have any problems, be sure to drop it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to help all of you. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Our first tweak that we're going to take a look at is Better Folder. And what Better Folder does is it allows you a few options to customize the folders on your home screen. So for instance, if I were to jump into this folder here, you'll see that it now has a clear background. And in addition to it having a clear background, I can take my fingers here and pinch to close it. So I can easily jump back to my home screen without ever hitting the home button. And that's pretty much all it does. However, you can configure these options that I just showed you from within the settings for this tweak. Taking a look here at the top, you'll see that you can turn off the pinch to close option. You can turn off the option for it the folders to be nested as well as turn off the clear background option so you can get it just how you want it. However, I like it how it is because to me it just pretty much enhances the look of the device. And speaking of enhancements, that takes me to my next tweak, which is Barrel. If you aren't familiar with it, it is a classic tweak that has recently been updated to work with iOS 7. And what it does is it allows you to change the page transitions on your home screen for your icons. So you'll notice if I swipe from page to page here, it does this little kind of spiral effect. And there are a ton of different transitions you can actually choose from. So if I swipe back here to my home screen and I hop into my settings, you'll see that I have a few choices from within here. And one being I can customize the transition. And something to me that makes this tweak stand out in terms of being able to adjust these transitions is that the changes take effect immediately. So for instance, if I were to choose this page transition right here, and I were to hop to my home screen and start swiping to my next page, you'll see that the change has already taken effect. So you don't have to worry about respringing your device to see those changes take effect. And as we're looking at my home screen, you'll notice that my font does look a little bit different. And that was achieved with Bytefont. So Bytefont is another classic. It was updated for iOS 7, bringing out Bytefont 2, and it lets you change the system font on your device. So I'm going to bring it in a little closer and you'll notice like my fonts here for settings and music and all my applications on my home screen is not the typical default font that comes with the device. So I just hopped into my notes app to show this off a bit better. So I'm going to just type just a few words. And hopefully you can see there the font that I'm talking about. It not only changes the font on your home screen, but pretty much any text on your device, including the keyboard itself. So you do get an icon on your home screen where you can jump into the application and change the fonts and choose from different fonts. So I'm not going to go through all of the fonts and the options that you have within here. I've actually done a video on this particular tweak a while back, and I'm going to be doing another one being that it has been updated for iOS 7. But this is where you would change the fonts and choose your different options and browse for more fonts for you to download. So the next tweak that I have for all of you is Purge. And what it does is it kills all the background tasks in the multitask switcher by you holding on a card. So I'm going to double press on my home button here. It takes me into my multitask switcher. And if I were to hold my finger onto one of these cards, it then gives me the option and it asks me if I want to close all of the applications. So if I were to select yes here, and then I were to double press the home button again, you'll notice that all of the applications that were running in the background have now stopped. So that's really all Purge does, but it's a very nice way to quickly close out all of the background applications without having to do them manually one by one. Next up, I have Switch Spring, which also takes advantage of the multitask switcher, giving you an option to respring from the app switcher by swiping up on the home screen card. And it gives you some other options as well. So if I were to swipe up here, I then get a menu that asks me if I want to restart my device, if I want to quit all of the applications, or if I want to cancel out of this menu altogether. So the thing about this, though, just keep in mind, if you had any other um, applications running, so for instance, if I had Spotify running here and I were to jump back to my multitask switcher, you definitely want to make sure you swipe on the home card because if I swipe on Spotify, it's still going to close the application out. So it is specific. You do have to swipe the home screen card in order to get that menu. Taking a look at the next tweak here, we have Simp Lock. It's a real simple tweak. It removes the slide to unlock option at the bottom of your screen or rather the slide to unlock text down here that's 
typically at the bottom of your screen. So no longer will you see that. It just gives you a very clean lock screen, pretty much drawing a lot of attention to your clock and your wallpaper without the pretty much self-explanatory text that would normally appear down here at the bottom. Now, while we're on the lock screen, I do have another tweak up here installed that I'm really enjoying called Swipey. And it's a quick launcher for your lock screen. So what this quick launcher will allow you to do is instead of, you know, when you normally swipe to the left, it allows you to unlock your device. However, if I were to swipe to my right, I then can go through a couple of applications that I have designated to appear here for me to choose from so that I can quickly jump into those applications. And it will show you a preview of all of them by just swiping your finger over them like this from the right of your lock screen. And when you want to open one, you're just going to kind of pause there and then it will open that particular application. But it's a nice way to get where you want to go from your lock screen without ever having to unlock your device. Side note, this Beyonce album, the new one, download it. If you don't have it, download it. And if you're feeling the Beyonce album like I am, thumbs up this video. I swear it's one of her best albums yet. But moving right back along, I just had to do a little quick shout out because I was just amazed. But nonetheless, moving back to the lock screen here, you'll see that, uh, like I said before, sliding to the left still unlocks your device and just now sliding to the right opens up applications. So it just pretty much gives you another option on your lock screen and that's really it. So next up we have tiny bar and what it does is it shrinks down the banner that you typically get for your notifications. So it just makes it a little bit smaller and less obtrusive and to me just a better visual experience for when you get a notification on your device. So I'm going to send myself a notification now and as you can see up here at the top it's much smaller than the typical banner just kind of taking up that area that your clock generally appears in versus kind of hanging below that. So I know I'm having a little trouble keeping this in focus, so bear with me, but I'm going to send out another notification so I can play that back again in case you missed it. And there you have it, that's Tiny Bar. It's real simple, no options to configure, nothing to turn off or on, just install it and it's good to go. And for my next tweak, I have another classic that was updated to work with iOS 7 and that's Zeppelin. So you'll notice up there at the top in my status bar beside my Wi-Fi icon, I have an Apple logo and that is achieved with Zeppelin. So I'm currently in the settings for this particular app application and what you can do is turn it off or on by uh, flipping the switch up here or you can choose the icon that's going to appear up there. Now there are a ton of different icons that you can put up there but since uh, the iOS 7 jailbreak not all of them I believe have been updated to work with it but you still have quite a few to choose from. I really haven't downloaded any packs um, just mainly have the default ones that come with the application but it's another way to change the signal bars that generally are up there. So you have a few to choose from, none of which are in color, which honestly I'm okay with, but the icon pack has those that are in color if you want that. And lastly, we have Snow Relay. And what Snow Relay does is it gives you these falling snowflakes on every screen on your device. And when I say every screen, I mean every screen. So it will be on your home screen. It will be in your control center. It will be in your notification center. And not only would it be in your notification center, it'll be in your camera app if you go to take a photo. So it's constantly running on your device. Um, there's really no way thus far to turn it on or off, which I really hope the developer releases an option for you to do that soon. Because it's a very nice animation, but sometimes you don't want it up there, especially if you, for instance, are on YouTube and you're watching a Tech Me Out video. <laughs> you don't want to see snowflakes falling. You really want to kind of just enjoy the visual experience is what I'm saying. So maybe the developer in time will release an option to disable or enable the tweak. In the meantime, just keep in mind if you do download this, it will run constantly on your device. But it is a very nice tweak that I think kind of shows off the features of jailbreaking. So if you're looking for something to kind of show off to your friends, this is something you may want to check out. But that does conclude all of the jailbreak tweaks that I have for you today for iOS 7. Those are my top 10 picks. Definitely subscribe as I will be regularly releasing these top 10 tweaks, top 5 tweaks, or just top tweaks in general that I feel like all of you should check out. But if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Feel free to hit me up on any of my social sites. Those can be found in the description box as well. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.